Hello all, welcome back. Uh, it's been, I took a little little break after the big giant capture the record event, so now I'm, I'm back though, don't worry. Didn't go anywhere, just had to <laughs> relax after all that stress. Um, we're going to need to finish this cabin. This cabin is still a little unfinished. There's still need to, what up there? Oops. Still need to find black, uh, black wool. Or, uh, or squids for ink, so I can do a black around the spawn logo there. Finish the floor here. And then I've had a few comments that, uh, that would look better as a bookcase. Or, yeah, as bookshelves. That then go away, or hide away, and then opens up. So, I do, I agree with that. I also have to apologize for all the banging in the background. I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, I think it's it's the first, so new people are moving into apartments. Um, and hey, someone's like pounding crap into the wall or something. So if you hear banging in the background, it's my neighbor. It's not me. Or it's no one coming to try to attack me. Anyways, for bookshelves, I need uh, I need reed. Or I need uh, sugar cane now, I guess. So we gotta go find some. Um, and I don't know where I... There should be some nearby, so we're going to find it. And they're just banging away over there, aren't they? I don't see any in that distance. We just have to follow the, uh, the lake here, because it's always near water. That helps. There's a cave nearby. There he is. Look at this. Oh. Pfft. Nothing much to it. That was easy to explore. Although I do hear a zombie. That must be another cave. Or more to that cave. Just break through a wall or something. Do -do -do. Aha! Look what I found. Quite a bit of it, too. Is that a four hide? It is. Holy crap. So we're going to collect all this, and we're going to start a, uh, a reed farm, or a sugar cane farm, or whatever it's called now. What is it called now? Sugar cane. Thirteen. Ah, that'd be a good start. So let's go build us a uh, sugar cane farm. And what we'll probably do is expand it out. To, uh, you know, we'll continue the farm as well and do a cactus farm. Although I don't know if there's cactus around anywhere either. But do a cactus farm and a, uh, well, you can tell where my base is. Um, and a wheat farm. Because I need both of those as well. back home before it goes completely dark. You know, we need some light out here. There we go. Beautiful. So let's come down here and see what we have. We need, we need dirt, and we need water. Where are my buckets? There's my buckets. Fill up my other water here. 
Alright, where are we gonna put this weed farm? That's a good question, right? Well, it'd be cool to do. Yeah, well, you don't wanna do it up here. My mushroom bomb. I'm a spider. <laughs> Let's get rid of you. Come here. There, go away. Oh, uh, deciding where to put things sucks sometimes. So let me get things cleared up. I'll open up a room and then we'll be right back uh, after all that's done. All right, so here we have, I kind of cleaned this a little bit, up a little bit, because it was kind of weird. So I fixed it up a bit. Um, so that you can go up here, right here, fine, come down, and you can continue down through, through here, um, and everything. I then I opened up this room. Um, it comes right up the wall right here is to the mushroom farm, so it goes right up against that, right there. Uh, so I can't go any further that way, but I can go pretty deep that way or pretty far that way because I've got all that room that way. So, if I ever need to expand out the farm, um, that is definitely easy enough. Now, one thing I want to do is we want to grow reeds. So, we're going to start right here. Dig this out. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to put dirt right here. Oops. Water. And then plant our reeds. Or plant our sugar cane. Now that torch is going to be a problem, so we'll knock that down. And we'll put a torch there. In there. Alright, so we got to start up a reed farm. Let's see, we got six reed left. Maybe I should expand this reed farm out a little bit. We'll do, yeah. We'll do up to that point. Although, punching through reed doesn't matter that much. Um. Yeah, well, that's just enough anyways. So we'll let that reed grow, and then I can just sit here and then punch through. Oops. Not like that, but, you know, high enough, punch through, collect all the reed. Go through the other way and do the same thing. So that'll get us started on our bookshelves. For the cabin here, which will go where the hidden door is. So right there will be the bookshelves. Now I'm going to do other things um, as far as decorative for this uh, cabin. First of all, the stairs sucks. I need to fix these. But we're going to finish with the the floor here. Make that look good. And maybe even continue it out here until about this point maybe. And then make it go to stone. So what we need to do is, I only have, oh, I do have quite a bit of wooden planks. Now one thing I didn't have a chance, or I haven't talked about yet, is uh, I hope everyone had fun during the Capture the Record event, my 100th episode event. Um, it was a really good showing. Um, not as many people showed up as I had planned. Um, I don't know if everyone just didn't get the emails with all the information, or they forgot, or just didn't make it, or whatever. I had 150 people sign up, or over 150 people sign up. And, oh, I got redstone there. Over 150 people sign up. Why do I have redstone there? Was I going to put another switch there? Anyways. <laughs> Distracted. Distractions. Uh, over 150 people showed up. I think at peak we had 80, almost 80. Maybe it was uh, in the 70s. Um, on the server at once. If that, uh, you know, and that's fine. That's good. It was uh, it was plenty hectic with uh, just 80 people. So I'm not sure. 
if I could have handled 150 people on the server at the same time, I was having a heck of a time with what I had. This is going to open up, <clears throat> excuse me, open up a problem there. Okay. Collect all that. Close this up. There we go. That's a little better of a transition. And then when we get the bookcases in here, then it'll actually blend because the top of a bookcase is like that. Okay, so that takes care of that floor. Um, so other things I've been taking care of during my little uh, my little mini vacation I took, my little uh, week off from doing videos, is I've been working on porting the entire series over to Blip TV. Um, now don't don't start writing your hate emails or comments yet. Um, I'm still going to be uploading everything to YouTube as well. But Blip allows me is more for episodic content. You know, it's 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 better designed for a series like I do, um, whereas YouTube is more designed for you know just popular videos, really popular videos. And you know, the subscription. I mean, it it is somewhat for series. Um, you know, YouTube YouTube works, um, but Blip gives you I think a better show page and everything. They also allow you, and this is pretty big, and holy crap, what are they doing? Taking out the floor over there? Jeez, I apologize for that. I wish I had a quieter apartment to record in. Usually it's pretty quiet. Anyways. What it allows me, it's distracting, I apologize. It's distracting me. We need more of this. So while I do this, I'll continue talking. Uh, one thing it allows me to do... Um, that's pretty huge to me, is it allows me to put uh, my video series on iTunes as a podcast. And not just on iTunes, but, you know, any other pod, uh, podcasting uh, software or whatever that's out there. Um, so it allows me... Oh, why did I take away my X? So it allows me to do that, which is great, because... Uh, then people could just subscribe on iTunes or Zune or whatever their preferred uh, podcasting software is. Or you can watch on iTunes or on YouTube or pretty much anywhere you want. Um, I'm trying to just expand it out um, as best as I can. So that's part of the reason for that. As far as I'm trying to get it set up where... Uh, because uh, Blip also provides distribution uh, channels. And one of the distribution channels is YouTube, so that I can set it where um, it'll automatically post it to YouTube when I post it on Blip as well, so I don't have to upload choice. So that'll be a nice thing if I can get that working. Um, and a few other nice things out of that. Um, all my other stuff, the uh, non Michael Mines related stuff, will still be on YouTube um, because Blip prefers it to be all specific to an episode. So if you want to do like a, another series, you have to create another account type thing, which makes sense. So I'm going to keep doing that. Um, other things, I need to get back to work on my website again. Uh, my poor website gets forgotten, and I'm trying to I'm trying to find ways to automate my process of getting videos online because there's so many steps I have to go through right now just to get a video online. And uh, posting to blog seems to get forgotten quite a bit, and part of the process. All right, that should be enough, I think. I'll replay later. We got rain going outside. I came up here one time and there was a zombie inside. I was like, where in the world did he come from? So I have no idea. Weirdest thing ever.